Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Stella, your art and creativity expert. This series of videos is dedicated to provide support for the GCSE art and design students. On today's topic, I will discuss about the creative process. Stay tuned and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified every time I upload a new video. So let's get started. Creative process. What is a creative process and what does it really mean to have a creative process? If you are an art student, chances are that you hear this term quite often. The creative process refers to the journey that you go through from beginning to an end to create a work of art. Artists don't really wake up in the morning and get divine inspiration to create a masterpiece. In rare occasions, maybe they do, but oftentimes they are engaged in a long process of searching, learning, experimenting, making studies and reflecting. There are stages to the creative process and it's not something that you can rush. In your GCSE studies, you're expected to engage in the creative process and develop many studies on themes. GCSE art is not about making perfect and completed artwork on each page. You need to get engaged with the creative process for some period of time, search for stimuli to get ideas and inspiration, make lots of drawings, and play around with different materials and techniques, journal about it, and perfect it into a final result. Make a note here that you are allowed to make mistakes and you should make mistakes. Like I said, the creative process is not about perfect results, but about learning, and you should demonstrate that you're learning you're changing your mind as you go along and you perfect things. So don't be afraid to show all this in your sketchbook and do not be tempted to tear off pages if you don't like something or erase mistakes. Leave them and move on to a new page to create something new. Show your progress and be honest about it. Remember, mistakes are okay. The creative process is what leads to the final art piece, which is the end result. Usually, artists' creative process is hidden and we only see the final artwork, probably in a gallery exhibition. In your case, you will create a final artwork, but it's also very important that you develop studies and explore ideas for that final piece. In GCSE studies, you're being assessed on your creative process, not just the end result. So the creative process is extremely important and you need to show all that in order to get a good mark. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know and hit the like button. Also, if you have anything specific that you want me to discuss, I'll be happy to hear your suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget, let art be a joy.